we went to an old amusement bar, a park called Bakken and we met someone famous. Oh my god, can you guess who? It's someone I think almost everyone in this world knows in some way or another. And some people don't really believe in him, but I mean, that's up to them. He's gonna come out in, in a little while in this video, so just sit tight for a second. I'm gonna... Hi! Hi! Yo, tag. Hi, why are slow? Yeah, that wasn't awkward at all. We actually went away and then went back to take a picture with him. And I, of course, the first time I got so flustered, I forgot to say that he had to have a good Christmas too. But then when we went back, he said Merry Christmas and I said you too. <laughs> so it's cool. And he kept recognizing us throughout the day and I'm, I'm like a really, really awkward person and I wanted to flee always, you know, every time um, he was like, oh, it's you guys again. And I'm like, oh, I guess it is. <laughs> I'm not really a social person per se. I guess that's why I'm so creative. I don't know. I guess social per people can be creative too. I'm just, I'm really socially awkward. This is a Piera, Pia, 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 Pia. I don't know how to say it in, in English. I mean, I, I suppose it's a, an Italian name, since I'm pretty sure he's an Italian character. But he's used actually both in Bagen and in Tiuli, which are two um, amusement parks in Copenhagen. So that's really weird. <laughs> it's called Ulgul, which means beer good. It sounds so, I don't know, <laughs> weird. But anyway, this place um, doesn't usually have Christmas uh, well, open during Christmas. It's just open during the summer. So this was totally new and cool and exciting to see. And not a lot of people were trying the things, so we could just get in quickly but we decided not to because it was so cold that we didn't want to go on the, on the rides. So. Yeah, no thank you. Too cold. <laughs> it is extremely cold right now. But yeah, I'm filming this with my new camera, so I hope you don't mind if it's a little shaky and blurry and I haven't quite set the settings yet and stuff like that. I mean, everything is also sped up to twice the amount, so the rides aren't actually going that quick. It's just to make the video shorter. And this is Korsbeck, which is like a fairly new attraction. There's this old, old TV show called Metador, which is pretty famous in Denmark. And um, this is like the city from that series. So that's cool. It's a really good show, I think. It's about World War II, and maybe I should explain that. Or, well, it's not about, but it, it's taking time during that period, like right before and after the war and it's basically about a man who takes over <laughs> the town and you know I don't know it's it's a good show and I don't know it reminds me of my grandpa and actually one year we watched it as a Christmas calendar because there are 24 episodes yes that is the loo it's a toilet it's an outhouse and yes that was Hitler and a bunch of other political creeps, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, because that's what he wants to look at while he's doing his business on the toilet. The, 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 the pig farmer. Yay! Look at all those weird little things. This is a, a, a fun house. And you know, I love this fun house, but I hate the ending because they have this thing where they blow out um, go out, what's that called? Air? <laughs> a lot of air, but it has such a loud sound and it always scares me so much and I remember one year just begging them, please don't use it. And they did it anyway because they're not very nice people I guess. <laughs> Those weren't, but I mean, they might be nice now, I don't know. And look at all the, those the different rides during the night time and all the decorations and I don't know did I say it's free it's free to enter and then if you want to try the rides it costs money 
um, but we just walked around and we didn't have to pay anything. Unfortunately, there is no food we can eat though, and it's in the middle of a forest, so it's not like you can just go outside and buy food. Um, I like Tuli, but yeah. I mean, I still like it. And you can bring your own food, which we sometimes do in the summer. So that's really nice. Oh, all those lights. I'm really happy we went and we got to see it. And that's all for now. Bye!